Hello, 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 all you beautiful people. Welcome into the FabFam stream on this wonderful Wednesday evening. I hope everyone has had a good day. Welcome in Frank and Miss Cali, Cali, Cali girl. Hope everyone's had a good day. I had a wonderful birthday yesterday. Um, I unfortunately have a headache tonight, but at least I had a good birthday yesterday. My allergies are getting the best of me. Um, because our weather's jacked up here in Tennessee. One day it's 20 and one day it's 68. So <laughs> we've had some crazy weather, but um, I definitely am feeling um, a little better. But I do have a headache this evening. But I did have a great birthday. And um, Jeff Rowe ended up getting me a Oreo ice cream cake last night from Baskin Robbins. It's, it was so good. Uh, we still have some left. It was just really good. And he got me pizza. And he ended up getting me... Uh, RGB lighting for my computer and some fans and the lighting for the fans to work and then um, He got me RGB lighting for all in my desk area that he's got to install and monitor stands and um, Anyways, I was really blessed yesterday. I had a great birthday um, And I'm glad you guys are in here tonight. We are gonna work on something new tonight I am going to make something called a Doritos taco casserole um, I've had some requests to try this out and I'm going to give it a shot and we're going to see what this ends up tasting like. I have my hamburger cooking behind me on the stove and uh, we are going to take, um, I'm fixing to take that and rinse it off. Um, but this is really easy as far as ingredients. You'll just get uh, some ground beef and cook it. Um, two pounds is what I'm using. You can use more if you want more ground beef. Uh, two pounds is all you need for this though. Um, and then any toppings you like for tacos like lettuce, tomatoes, olives, that kind of thing. But what you have to have to go into the casserole will be your ground beef, um, some black beans, your um, Doritos. We are going to use the nacho con. So just some nacho Doritos. Um, so you'll need those and some shredded cheese. I'm using Colby Jack and a can of red enchilada sauce. Um, sorry, I'm getting a reflection there tonight, but some uh, red enchilada sauce. And so anyways, that is what we're going to use for this. I am going to get all um, my um, ground beef off of the stove and we're going to start making this. Hunter, good to see you. How's it going, Hunter? Hope you're well. I've just been working, 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 Hunter. Haven't even been playing Apex that much, really, or anything. <laughs> I have been working away these days. Oh, and I got chocolate. I got chocolate covered strawberries yesterday for my birthday too. I did get that. Um, cilantro and uh, Jeffro made me some. Um, well, actually, Cilantro made them. Jeffro bought them. And uh, I got shipped um, some strawberries from Sherry Berries from a lady I work with, too. So, oh, my God, it's so good. Oh, that's okay, Hunter. Don't worry about it. All right, let me wash this meat off. Alrighty, I got that back on the stove. 
You got a new shift hours? Oh, no, you work a long time. Yikes. Do you work days or nights, Hunter? I don't know. You got COVID. That stinks, Hunter. Oh, we've been well. I've just had some bad allergies lately, Hunter. Just the weather here in Tennessee has been like 20 and then 60. And for some reason, it triggered my asthma. And I haven't had to take a breathing treatment from my breathing machine in like two years. And I... Uh, the whole last week, I've had to take one a day at a breathing treatment from my machine because this weather, um, it just triggered it and it was terrible and I had to take some Zyrtec D. But other than that, we've been well. Two to ten. Ugh. That stinks, Hunter. Okay, guys. So I put my hamburger meat back in the ground beef and I just get some, like a big old thing of uh, taco seasoning. Let me see if I can get this to zoom in. I should have moved the light. But it's just the less sodium one. Come on. Focus. I feel like the light is doing it. But anyways, I use that. <laughs> How's Joel's um, breathing and stuff been, Hunter? Has he been doing okay? All right, let me toss this over the beef here. Now I'm going to add some water to this to make the sauce for it. And I'm turning up the heat a little bit. Let me toss this around in here. Let me get this heating up a little bit and then I'll bring it over to the table. Oh, that's cool. I, I have been noticing him go on earlier because I'm working usually when he's been going live. But I did notice that, Hunter. And I was like, maybe he's not going to grind so much. That's what I was hoping anyway. And maybe he'll he'll be better and not get so sick this time. Okay, while that's finishing up, what I'm going to do is we're going to bring some beans over here. This is just organic black beans. And uh, we have some red enchilada sauce that we're going to use. I don't like this reflection. What happens if I turn my light off? Oh, no, no, no. Too dark, too dark. Okay. I'll just have to move my light next time. Um, and then we have our nacho, nacho Dorito. Okay, I hope it's not because it's just not focusing on my stuff a little bit, but... I kind of move stuff around and I got a new tripod for my camera and stuff. Okay. Okay, this looks like it might be good because we're going to put this in the oven. We, we preheated our oven to 350. Shoo, stinky. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of ground beef that we have with our taco seasoning down in here first. So, mix this up. 
and just going to put a little bit in here because you want to have like a, a wetter base there. Now it says to use a 13 by 9 casserole. I almost wanted to use a smaller one, but we'll see. Okay, so now we're supposed to take our Doritos. Okay, thanks, Frank. And we're going to take these, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to crumble them, okay? So just take them in your hands, it says, and crumble up the nacho-flavored Doritos. If any of you go to Taco Bell, I don't really care for Taco Bell, but they do have, like, uh, Dorito Locos tacos or something, because Puff likes Taco Bell. And the taco shell is Doritos. They used to have Cool Ranch ones. But um, their nacho ones, I think it's kind of the same thing you're, you're doing here. And you don't have to have them too small. You just break them up. So that's what we're doing. They make it a mess, but... Okay, so let me get me some to wipe my hands off. So as you can kind of see, what we're going to do is layer this. Yo, HB. So we have some ground beef down the taco. We've got our ground up nachos we've put a little bit of. Now, we're going to take our black beans. I drained the juice off. And we're going to sprinkle these on. Okay. Now, we are going to put some Colby Jack cheese on here. Hey, Heather, how's it going? So let's put our Colby Jack on. I love Colby Jack. Don't be shy with the cheese. Okay, now I'm going to shake my can opener and we're going to open up our red enchilada sauce. Alrighty. Cool. Hope you're making something good, Heather. So you're going to take, it says about half of this, and kind of drizzle the enchilada sauce over. That's about half. Okay. Then you start over again. So we have about a little over half of our ground beef left. So what we're going to do is you're just going to put the rest of it on here. Okay. There's our taco meat. Now I use a really lean meat. Um, Try to get low fat in the meat. And of course, I clean it. I rinse it off in a drainer into a pot to rinse off the hot, the, the grease. I rinse it with hot water. And um, then you return it back to the skillet, put your taco seasoning on it, and it'll tell you to add some water to the skillet. And um, you just let it cook and it makes like a sauce like. Okay. Just kind of spread that out. Chicken enchiladas. Woo, yum. That sounds yummy, Heather. Now, we're going back to the Doritos here. Um, 
This is a bag of air, of course, as you know, with chips anymore. So this is just a regular nacho chip. If you find the big ones and you want to make it a little bigger, you'll definitely need the bigger bag. Because this will not be enough. Because <laughs> you pay for bags of air now. Sorry, I hit my microphone. Didn't mean to put y'all deaf. Took off my band-aid. I had a paper cut. Sometimes you, I swear you feel like uh, someone murders you and it's a paper cut. That hurts worse than a cut sometimes. How long does it have to cook, Heather? And the crumbs. And there goes the bag of air right there. Okay. Now let me wash my hands off because they're really disgusting. An hour and 15 minutes? Dang. Oh, I love Doritos too, Callie. I'm wondering what the Cool Ranch would taste like. It calls for the nacho ones, but I'm uh, I'm just loving Cool Ranch Doritos. Okay, so we'll do that. And now let me open up the other can of black beans. Let me uh, pour the juice out. Now, sprinkle your other can of black beans. So you'll need two cans of black beans. We have Kroger's here. Most of you don't if you don't live in the South or the East Coast. But uh, I just get Simply Truth organic black beans. Nothing special. I use a lot of organic. So now you can spread those out if you want. And then take your enchilada sauce. I'm just going to go and put it on here before I put my cheese on so it can drain down. The rest of my enchilada sauce there. And now more cheese. More cheese. Now, let me get some foil. Now, I have some queso that I got at my local Kroger, and it is just mild. It does have some jalapenos in it, but it's mild. 
And I'm going to put a little bit on top of this. See if I can get it open. I hate the lids that come on these. Mm. Sometimes I pre get Jeff to open these for me. Okay, I got it. It's a lot of grunting going on here. But I got it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to take this. Because, you know, it's not heated up. And I'm just going to dollop it. Okay. If you don't have queso, it's fine. You don't have to use it. Okay. So we put some dollops of queso. Yeah, it was, it's not too bad of a queso either, Callie. The queen of dollop. Yes, dollop, dollop. Okay, so now we have this on here. And we're going to take our foil. And you want to cover this up. Just lightly put it on here. Now we're going to turn around behind us and I'm going to put this in the oven and it's going to cook for 20 minutes. Okay. Then once you've cooked it for 20 minutes, you um, take the foil off of it. Okay. After 20 minutes of cooking at 350 degrees, you take the foil off and you cook it 10 more minutes with no foil on it. Okay. So, once you get it out, then the fun part comes. You can add whatever toppings you want to add, okay? So, um, I am going to let it be whatever somebody wants because everybody in this house eats different toppings. Um, but on this, you can put it on the top if everybody likes it once it comes out. You can just sprinkle it on the top. Otherwise, you can have stuff that you can sprinkle on it once you cut it out and you put it in your plate. Um, like Jeffro likes uh, black olives and so does Puff. So I got some black olives and then I got some fire sauce, Taco Bell sauce, some lettuce, some salsa, um, <laughs> add bacon, cheddar ranch potatoes. <gasps> no, Frank, not on this. <laughs> and you just put it um, all on there and um, you're good to go. And like I said, I've never made this before, but supposedly because everything's broke up, it's not something you cut into a square from what I see in the picture. It looks like you'll just take like either something like this, you know, that you would do your beef with or a, a big spoon and you just kind of scoop it out and you serve it that way. Oh, yeah, I do that too, Heather. I put queso on top of my enchiladas for sure. For sure. Here, guys, I'm going to show you something I got for my birthday. Thank you frank yeah last night i went in grand stream frank did you hear grand sing happy birthday to me grand sing happy birthday to me on stream it was funny apparently it's in his youtube video he posted i'll have to go clip it and put it in our stream but this is what my friend that i work with in the florida office sent me as sherry's berries and look this came to me fedex brought it to me you can see my family has enjoyed some of these 
I like the one cilantro made me better, but look at this. When I got this, this spelt out happy birthday. And then on the end, we're just a regular berry on each side. These things are like massive. Look, look at this. Look how much they dip these things. These things are massive. And then they, that little thing on the top is like a piece of attached hard chocolate. But, um, yeah, I told them to eat some of these because, um, cilantro made me a huge tray of strawberries and it was so good because he dipped them in white chocolate put them in the freezer for a while then pulled them out and dipped them in milk chocolate oh my gosh they were double dipped and they were dipped in gordelli chocolate so like i'll hardly have any left but look this is one of them that cilantro made me and he cut the stem off and he just dipped it all so it's so good. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, I'm sacrificing and eating this. But look. That's the inside of the one cilantro made me. So it has the white chocolate. And it has the chocolate. These are the best things ever. And the strawberry. Is so good. Thank you for noting my sacrifice, Callie. I think we have a Hungry Howie's, too. I think... Is that... Wait a minute. Is that the Michigan restaurant or the pizza place you go to? Oh, I love it, too, Heather. That is like Cilantro and I's dream is to have a, a food truck or a cafe together. We really want to do that. It'll never happen, though. It costs too much. Is it the pizza place in South Carolina, though? Is it the one I asked you about before? Or is that a different pizza place that's near your work? Okay, if it's the one near your work, we do have one. I looked it up. I went to their locations when I asked you. And we have one that's uh, where my Sam's Club is. That's 30 minutes away that I go to the Sam's Club. There's one there. I didn't know it was there. Neither did cilantro. Because we thought about going and getting some there. Yes, Hunter. Yesterday was my birthday. It was my birthday yesterday. See, I got Sherry's berries from a friend. Cilantro dipped me strawberries. Jeffro got me RGB lighting from my PC some more. So it's all purple. It's decked out. It's in Discord. And then he got me RGB lighting for my uh, desk area. He's going to install that this weekend. And then he got me monitor stands for my dual monitors. He's going to install that this weekend. And then he got me pizza last night. And a Baskin Robbins Oreo cookies and cream cake. I know. I'd love to do that, Kelly. I thought about it. Thank you, Hunter. Aw, you're so sweet, Hunter. It was a great birthday. Then my daddy stopped by in my house. And he was a sweetheart. Told me he loved me. Give me a birthday card and give me some money. <laughs> He's like a... I don't know what to get you, but here's some money. <laughs> I was so funny. It was so funny. But I'll take the money. I just don't know what I want. 
Just not sure. But other than that, I think that was it. Oh, and I got taken to lunch yesterday from the people I work with in my office. We're very small because I'm a, I work for a nonprofit. So they took me to lunch yesterday to this local restaurant that's new. I'd never been to it. I got fish and chips. It was cod. It was very good. So I did that for lunch yesterday. I was going to use, I got a Panera gift card. It's Panera and I like their chicken salad. And my intent was to stop by there and get a sandwich today. But then I went to the bank and deposited my check. And then I ended up going to the grocery store. And then it was getting late. And I didn't want to be late for stream. So I ended up not going by there. So I might go use it tomorrow. It was a very pretty day here today, too. It was almost 70 degrees here. Yeah, it is. Some of their stuff they're doing away with, which I hate. But um, my only thing I mainly eat there is the chicken salad sandwich. So... I'm good. Oh, and then I got my Instapot, y'all, the Pioneer Lady one. So I've been trying out stuff in, in, in my Instapot. And I think I'm going to do a YouTube video series where it's stuff you can make in the Instapot and put it on our YouTube channel. Yep, I hear you, Callie. Brian! Uh, how, how are you feeling today? I hope your internet's better today. I was just talking about my birthday, Brian, and all the goodies I got. And I was showing them my sherry berries that my, my friend sent me from Florida. It Look, Brian, it's spelt out. They're missing now, obviously, because um, I shared with my family. But it's spelt out, happy birthday. She had them shipped to me. Oh, you are? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to message you when I get off stream. I'm so glad I didn't keep you so long. Let's go. But anyways, y'all, I had a wonderful birthday. I appreciate all the wishes that everyone put in Discord for me. All the lovely things people said. Um, all my goodies I got. I appreciate everything. I was definitely blessed. Um, I usually get more than I deserve and um, just blessed beyond measure. So I appreciate it. And uh, the casserole is just going to have to keep cooking. It still has 11 minutes left. So I'm going to end stream. But I'll definitely put a picture in Discord of what it looks like when it comes out and a, like a piece of it on a dish. But it, so far, it smells absolutely delicious. Hey, Thor. Oh, yesterday was Thor's birthday too, y'all, because me and her share a birthday. We have the exact same day. Oh, yeah, y'all. I need to show you something. So, you know, Brian's always sending me something. Where is this at? Hold on. Okay, so Brian sent me these. They were supposed to be for Christmas, and they got here late, okay? And so I didn't get them till a couple weeks ago, but he got me some new mitts, y'all. Because, you know, he knew my, my pot holders were wearing out for getting stuff out of the stove. And look, he knows I like purple, so he got me these purple gloves. They're for cooking. And look, you just put them on like a glove, and they go up to like, I think it's at 450 degrees or something, and you can get your item out of the stove. See, aren't they pretty? They're purple. They're kind of big on me, but I don't really care because I'm just getting stuff out of the stove with it and it works well. Uh, so far, I haven't really used them yet. I think cilantro used it maybe the other night to see. But when I get my casserole dish out tonight, I'm going to use these to get them out. But I think it's really cool because I don't have that big clunky mitt on either anymore. Yes, they are pretty. I like them, Thor. They're really pretty. Brian sent them to me. They were supposed to be part of my Christmas gift, but we thought they got canceled. 
And then all of a sudden they messaged him and said that they would, if they got them back in stock, they would ship them. And I wasn't expecting it. He forgot to tell me. So I went out to get the mail and they were just in the mailbox. <laughs> so I was very pleased and shocked. So I got that. And then my sister just got back from a cruise. She likes to go on cruises a lot. And she went to down toward Florida. She boarded down there. And uh, small people size. <laughs> and she boarded down there and went to the Bahamas and somewhere around New Mexico, different places down in there somewhere. And look, she brought me that because she knows how much I bake. And look, she brought me back some vanilla. It's Mexican vanilla. If y'all have never had <laughs> true Mexican vanilla, it's so good. And you just use a little bit because it's really, really good. But this came from Honduras. But she didn't go to Honduras, but they were selling it from Honduras at the place she ported. And it says, yeah, product of Honduras. But she's bought this before and said that this is really good vanilla. So, of course, you can't get it in clear, so I couldn't use it in my cake decorating icing. But you can use it in baking and everything else. So, And it, and it lasts forever, too. So I got me some vanilla. So I'm excited about that. She brought me that. And then my sister said she wants to take me out or something for my birthday because she had to work and she's not been feeling well. And she still, I believe me, I'm not going to let her forget, she still owes me a pedicure for my Christmas gift that she hasn't got me either. So she's going to be getting me my pedicure plus my birthday. She's not getting, she's not getting out. She's not going to go, oh, I get you, I'll give you a pedicure for your birthday. No, sister. That was my Christmas gift. So, I still am owed some goodies from her. <laughs> See, it's just sister love right there. But anyways, everyone, that is still cooking. Like I said, I'll post pictures. I hope everybody has a good night. Um, And um, I'm not going to raid anybody tonight. I'm just going to end stream. But everyone come back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central. And Cilantro will be streaming um, tomorrow on Thursday. And then I might stream Friday night. I, I don't know. There, we don't normally have streams on Friday. Um, but I will definitely should be streaming Saturday. Unless Jeffro is still trying to put up my monitor stands. He's going to try to do that Saturday. Um, so if he's not, then I'll probably stream Saturday too. So anyways, I'm glad you guys stopped by and hung out with me. Good to see you, Hunter, and everyone else. Thank you for stopping in. Night, night, everyone. And don't you forget, make sure you tell someone you love them. Bye-bye.